Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. And, you know, I haven't been doing much lately with Eagles content, but um, shout out to the mailman who I had not heard this but it was actually really cool. Let me give you some background history here on this. Okay, this, this is for you Eagle fans. I, I know we don't see many of you, but let, let, let's go to the tape. The Eagles pick is in. They just trade up with Baltimore. Garrett Wilson was just taken at 12 by Detroit, who trade up for 32. Why would they do that? Detroit's so stupid. But Eagles pick is in. And, and I see it like three guys, dude. I see it either um, Jermaine Johnson, Hamilton, or Jordan Davis. It's got to be one of those three, no? Hmm. Come on, let's get this thing going. They take forever. Forever. They take forever to make a, to, this thing. So the Eagles trade the 13th overall pick, the 15th pick overall, 2022 fourth round pick, and two... 2022 fifth round picks, man. They gave That's a lot a up. Lot. That, 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 this is a wow. recap. They of gave what a they lot did. up. It, it, uh, I don't. Drake London is not here anymore, so I'm not going to have a meltdown unless it's a quarterback. And if it's a quarterback, I'm going to go off, Joey. I'm I'm trying to avoid the chat on purpose because you know you always get people who are who who are dicks. <laughs> so, oh, really? So I can't I okay. can't see what they're saying. All right, the pick is in. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, commission. Let's go. Man, I'm waiting. Pick is in. Mm. Pick is in and it ain't in my nose. Let's go. <laughs> Take for, dude, this is taking forever. It, it, really, it really is. Come yeah, on, I, let's I go. I you to see all this. Pick is in. Number 13. The 13th pick in the draft. Gotta be, it's got to be a defense alignment. I got to think it's a defense alignment. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they are taking forever. This is killing me, man. This is killing me. This takes forever. Let's go. A lot of Eagle fans there, but what's the pick? What's the you pick? went to commercial. Trey, what's the pick? I can't take this. What do they take so long for? Just announce the pick. Now they're bringing out all these people. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm ready. Who are these people? Oh, Lordy. I just want to know who the pick is. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, Bishop Gorman, that's where Randall Cunningham's son went. Just saying. Just saying. Come on, Eagles. Let's go. We got over 2,700 people here. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. This stuff is killing me. You just pick already? What is with all this crap? What's the pick? <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Give me something good. With the 13th pick. Jordan did. Yeah! <laughs> yes! We got Wait the beast! We got the beast! We got that mother humping beast! <laughs> I said, I said all along, most likely guy. That made the most sense all uh -huh. off season. Uh -huh. yeah, this I made the... Take that, Mark Holm. Take that, Cowboy fans. We got the beast! <laughs> I love this pick. I love it. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I love that. I'm wondering if he's still loving it because here we are after all that they gave up, after everything that they gave up. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can find it. I'm, I'm having. Uh, here we go. Oh, hold up. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting this clip up. Okay. So. I 
can't find it now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Jordan Davis is out. Of Let's go to the tape, shall we? Jordan Davis is out of shape. Like, I don't know what they find him, Zach. You're in there every day. Like, I don't know what they find him every week. But I, I got to believe he's getting money taken from him. He's overweight. And it shows. Like, he's not pursuing the football. He's nothing in the pass rush. So that's one. So if he's going to play with that effort and be overweight like that, then you say, okay, well, they're a man short in the rotation. Fletcher's playing too much. Jalen's too much. Because he's not effective right now. They need another guy inside in their defensive tackle rotation. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure why he keeps dressing. He's not. He's been ineffective. Wow. When the, the plays are going on, he is basically walking on the field. You know, it's just – it's bad effort. But, wow. But um, guys, are, guys are getting blocked right now. Jordan Davis is out of shape. Wow. They are – Philly, a little Philly, little Philly. I I need to understand what's going on, uh, bro, because I remember you sending me all these pictures of Jordan Davis and uh, Jalen Carter all off season, and you were talking about how great that defensive front, how nobody was going to be able to run against them. At this point, I think I can get two or three yards on them guys, Jordan Davis. He, he literally said, why is he even dressing? Why is he even dressing? The play's going on while he's still walking his fat ass on the field. Now, we have a different effect that's going on here um, with the Cowboys, and maybe it's that the Cowboys are more disciplined with the players than the Eagles are. Because I think about Micah Parsons, who, you know, is his rookie, he was an insane. He was great. But he has still been honing his craft, trying to get better and better. And then we have Mozzie Smith, you know, a guy that y'all made fun of and called him Mozzie Pad and things like that. He's actually slimmed down. He's lost weight. He's under 300 pounds as they work on a transformation. It will be interesting to see, um, say, three years from now, where these two guys are in comparison to each other. I I'm, just, I'm just saying that it sounds like he's turned into Albert Hainsworth. And I'm not talking about the Albert Hainsworth that was with the Tennessee Titans. I'm talking about the Albert Hainsworth of the Commanders. Wow, Philly. Little Philly. You were so happy about Jordan Davis. And now, is he going to be a bust? I, I kind of pointed out to you. Um, Philly, um, Philly, that y you guys have not had too much luck in staying power with first round picks uh, lately. I'm going to say Lane Johnson was a great one. Carson Wentz, eh, not so much, as well as some of those other guys. Yeah, I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm enjoying this. I will catch you guys later.